People sometimes struggle with Scrivener, and the reason they do is they don't understand the fundamental concepts. So I'm just going to talk you very briefly through here three fundamental concepts without which you're not going to get the hang of it. And they're very, very simple. There are three parts to Scrivener. Uh, the main screen here, one is called the binder. Here is the document window. And here is the inspector. Three very fundamental aspects of the program that do very different things. And you have to get to grips with what they do. Otherwise, you're wasting your time, frankly. The binder is very, very simple. You just got to think of it as the filing cabinet. It's where you store the documents that go to make up your book. Here is my little Scrivener book that you can get on Kindle, and you can see it's divided into different sections. There's a copyright page about the author introduction. Here is understanding the basics, and as you can see that some of these sections have subsections. So they're just basically a, a hierarchical outline, and each one of these headings relates to a written document. And you can move those things around, uh, and you can generally use them as an outline. You know, it's, there's nothing particularly difficult about all that. Um, the document window is very simply your word processor. It's where you write each component part of the book. Um, and you can see your document window in one of three views. This is the main view, uh, which is an ordinary word processing window. Um, if you look up here, there's a corkboard view. That's where you will see each of your documents as a corkboard outline. And if you write a synopsis in here, it will appear there. And finally, there's an outlining view, which is very similar to the corkboard view, but looks more like a traditional outline. The third part is the inspector over here. And the way to think of the inspector is that this is a way of annotating those individual documents inside your filing cabinet, which is the clipboard. So the inspector lets you do several things that are just notes for each of those documents. As I said, you can write a synopsis here and that synopsis will appear in the court board. You can give it labels. You can say, you know, it's um, a different kind of uh, chapter or scene or notes or whatever. And you can give it a status. So you can say first draft, revised draft, final draft. I think for NaNoWriMo, you probably don't need most of those things. Um, there is an awful lot you can do here, and frankly, very few people would need all of it. So don't spend lots of time trying to look at the inspector in the first instance, just work your way into it. The important things I suggest you do look at are the notes, which is this little one here. See, there, there are lots of other things, but just don't think about them at the moment. Notes, you can use in two ways. Here is um, a document note, and that relates to this individual document, this one here called Understanding the Basics. So I could write in... Um, and that relates to this particular document. If I get a different document, it disappears because I've got different document notes for that. Um, if we go to project notes, these are more general and these apply to the whole project. So if I go to a different part of the manuscript, I still see the project notes. Very, very simple way of annotating each individual scene in a novel and saying, this needs this kind of work, this needs something to refer to somewhere else. It's just a notepad, basically. Though it's not the only notepad, because there are a lot of things you can do with Scrivener that we won't go through right here. So those are the fundamentals, um, a binder, a writing area, and an area called the inspector, where you annotate each of your individual documents. Obviously, the most important bit is the writing area because writing is what we're all about so you can get rid of both the binder and the inspector very easily through some keyboard shortcuts uh, what are they um, look them up i'm not your mummy um, but the easiest way really to write is to go to what's called composition mode now on the mac and full screen on windows which is again just a sheet a simple shortcut and will give you your work in a window surrounded by nothing but blank space um, that is the ideal way to just get down some words. And if you're writing and you just want to get down words, I would hope you would spend most of your time in this particular window. So those are the three fundamental basics of Scrivener. Um, lots more to say about this program, but to get you started, I think that's enough.